Hi, my name is Cheryl, and today I'm going to teach you how to make this arrangement, which I call Elegant Celebration. It's just a really glorious arrangement of glasses, grasses, and rye. It's got a nice silver container, and I want you to see the finished product, and now I'll show you how to put it together yourself. Okay. The first thing you need to do is take your sand, which is in the package, drop it in the vase. This is going to give added stability. And take your foam, and the tube is what supports it in the container. We're going to put it in the, in the foam like this, go in about a quarter of an inch, and then just drop it right in. The foam's going to fit snugly, but sometimes what I do is roll up some newspaper and, and put it around that tube to be certain that it's really securely in space in the space. I'm going to put it down so it's inside the vase just about a quarter of an inch. You can see that? Okay. I'm going to start with the gold grass. Now one thing you can keep in mind is with this, with this the, these pieces are going to be a little longer. You'll need to trim some of them, but if you want to go higher and make it a little more full and, and outward, you can do that by not taking off so much length. I'm going to start right in the middle of the container, or the foam, with the grass. And on this one, because it's so much taller, what I'm going to do is, I call this abbreviating, but you can use any word you want. I'm going to cut it in half right there. But see, I've done it in such a way that now I have two beautiful pieces instead of one. And insert, and, and insert, okay? If you want this design to be all around, keep in mind that, and you can place your pieces in the full range, or if you want just a fan that you might place on a buffet, then you can just have it one-sided. It's up to you. Um, some people don't like to break these things with their fingernails, but that's how I do it. You can use your garden shears or a pair of scissors, but... Uh, I, I use my fingernails for most of this. So they're going to come in at varying heights and lengths with this. And then our other piece that we're going to be using is a palm. It doesn't look like a palm, but it's just one piece. Now these are very long. You can keep them long if you want, or if, if you want to actually make it seem like you have more than you did. We're going to cut them in half, so you can have a nice length out the side, and still end up with a beautiful curl coming upwards, and again, just fanning outwards as you go. I try to um, keep it kind of focused on having the pieces appear as if they're all coming from the same place. But we're going to give you a shot of this face, and you can see that the stems are not all coming from the same place. They just appear to be like an explosion. Keep in mind as you use the cut pieces to bring the taller ones towards the rear and in the center. If you want it to be all the way around, the taller ones will be only in the center. And when we cut and have shorter lengths of pieces, what we're going to do is to bring them around the front and at the sides. So this is going to give you the dimension to your piece. So shorter pieces out to the side, longer ones in the center and upwards. Okay. So um, you will have a, a packet of moss to cover the foam with. Just mist it and just easily put it in between the pieces and then you're going to have a really nice finished look. So you go from the beginning that we showed you. When you're finished, you have a beautiful celebration.